Some of the country's metros that are governed by coalitions continue to experience problems. In Johannesburg, there's a battle between the multi-party government as well as smaller parties. Uh, but in Swane, there, are, well, there was a disagreement with the mayor over electricity supply. And when we head over to the Nelson Mandela Bay, now parties there want to oust the executive mayor. So does this mean that coalition politics in South Africa is not working? Let's speak to political analyst Maseng Oshupi, who joins me now for that discussion. Uh, Maseng, thank you for your time. And good morning to you. That's the big question. Are we getting a, a, a taste and a look at what coalitions could actually mean at government level, at rather national level? Should they even get there? Do they even work, in your opinion? Uh, good morning to you and, and your viewers. Uh, naturally, you see, coalition government were designed for two things. One, in environments where there's uh, perpetual conflicts or war-torn environments, you then need to have coalition government in order to try to come up with some level of political stability within that particular situation. And in the context of South Africa now, when you look at local government, it means that uh, we have a situation whereby we did not have a single political party having outright majority. Now, in such situations, you tend to observe that all uh, these political parties actually have different ideological standpoints, mm. as well as different perspectives and viewpoints in terms of how th things should be managed and run at the local government level. Now, on its own, therefore, means this has political implication in the sense that you'll consistently have all of these metros having political parties that are having divergent views and this is actually having a negative impact in the manner in which those local governments are. Yeah. And, and in your opinion, do you think voters are getting their votes worth so far? When we look at the Nelson Mandela Bay uh, Metro, the Twani Metro, Johannesburg as well, and everything that's been going on there uh, with regards to tensions between all these parties, are the voters getting their votes worth? That, that's quite a, a, a difficult uh, question to respond to because we then need to look, look into what we call the IDPs of those different metros and actually try to ascertain whether the IDPs that those metros came up with are actually being uh, implemented. Now, an IDP is the one that can actually determine whether voters are indeed getting what is worth in terms, in terms of service delivery. It's not something that we can just superficially respond without looking deeply into the IDPs that were there and the progress that had been, has been registered in, in those particular metros. Mm. Um, Masa, let me just, uh, you know, uh, pick your brain here in terms of your assessment of service delivery so far, uh, in terms of where these coalition governments do govern in these particular metros. How would you rate the service delivery so far? This, of course, as compared uh, to previously where one party would govern that metro. You know, I think what, what is currently sustaining those metros would not be necessarily at uh, a political level. But that would be at, at, at administrative level that, remember that the uh, politicians are elected uh, mm. every five years or so. But you still have those people who are employed as bureaucrats having multiple or various responsibilities in terms of uh, those particular metros. So politicians would not necessarily be the only case in terms of thinking of issues of service delivery. But you take also into consideration whether you have bureaucrats that are committed into uh, discharging their functions into those particular metros. So. So far, uh, we, do, we do have those bureaucrats that are consistently doing uh, what is it that they are supposed to do. But the reality would then come, come back to say to, to that uh, those bureaucrats are actually provided with a determination from what you call an IDP that is actually a responsibility of cancer. But generally, issues of service delivery have an interlinkage between those that are in bureaucracy as well as those that are politicians. Yeah, and in your opinion, uh, just speaking on service delivery uh, once again, what do you think would uh, make municipalities work? What, what, what would it take to actually see sustainable functioning municipalities? You see, uh, the, the reality is that, uh, as, as I indicated earlier, that the, it, is, it is quite uh, difficult for us to 
separate uh, the, the responsibility of bureaucrats together with the responsibility of, of politicians. When you have a good working relationship between those that are politicians and those that are within the bureaucracy, for instance, I think it's one of the cardinal points or the points of departures in terms of making municipalities work. For instance, if you do not have a council that is uh, cooperative in nature, that would nat naturally have an impact on, on the responsibilities of, of bureaucrats because you would have a council that is unable to take decisions, a council that is unsustainable, a council that is consistently locked into political battles, which is supposed to provide political indication or political directions to those that are within the bureaucracy. Now, you start first at political level to ensure that there's a smooth running council, which would be able to provide political direction to those that are within the administration. And I appreciate you speaking to me about this this morning. Political analyst, Masengo Shukbing, a pleasure talking to you this morning.